In this video, we'll run a post hoc test using the Adult Non-Victim Survey taken from the Crime Survey for England and Wales 2011 to 2012. Its file name is CSEW underscore APR11 MAR12 underscore NVF dot SAV. This dataset is available for free download from the UK Data Service website. If you were investigating the impact of a categorical independent variable on a continuous dependent variable, like police confidence score, you would run either a t-test or an ANOVA to determine the statistical significance of any differences in mean score. You'd run a t-test if your categorical independent variable had two categories, and an ANOVA if your categorical independent variable had more than two categories. Let's say that you wanted to determine the influence of worry about physical violence on police confidence scores. You could use the variable W attack as a measure of worry about physical violence and the variable police conf1 as your measure of police confidence score. Police conf1 is a continuous variable. W attack is a categorical variable with more than two categories. Therefore, we'll be performing a one-way ANOVA to determine if there is a statistically significant difference in mean police confidence score between the categories in W attack. Let's say that in addition to determining if there is a statistically significant difference in mean score between the categories in W attack, you also want to know if the differences between the categories are significant. In this case, you'd run a post hoc test in addition to your one-way ANOVA. In order to run the post hoc test, go to Analyze, Compare Means, and One-Way ANOVA. Next, search for our continuous dependent variable, PoliceConf1, and move it to the dependent list on the right. Next, look for our independent categorical variable, WATTACK, and move that variable to the factor text bar on the right. Now if we click OK, we would just run a one-way ANOVA. However, we want to add a post hoc test to the SONOVA, so we're going to click post hoc, and then under the equal variances assumed header, we're going to click LSD. This just defines what type of post hoc comparison we're running. LSD stands for least square difference. This is the post hoc we'd like to run. So we'll click continue, and then OK, and the SPSS output window should show us a post hoc output table. Now, if you look at the very first row of the post hoc multiple comparisons table, you can see that the category very worried has been compared to all the other categories in W attack. Let's consider the mean comparison between very worried and fairly worried. In the mean difference column of this table, you can see that the mean difference in police confidence score between very worried and fairly worried is negative 0.20779. This could be interpreted as meaning that the mean police confidence score reported by people who were fairly worried is on average 0.20779 points less than the mean police confidence score reported by people who were very worried. Unfortunately, if we continue across the row, we see that the significance level for the comparison of very worried and fairly worried is 0 0.216. In ANOVA and post hoc tests, as in most tests of significance, the significance threshold is set at P is equal to 0 0.05. A significance test result that is larger than 0 0.05 means that the relationship being tested is not statistically significant. Because 0 0.216 is much larger than 0 0.05, we can conclude that the difference in mean police confidence score between respondents that answered very worried and respondents that answered fairly worried is not statistically significant. 